right, let's go back over here. Whoa! Holy cow! Oh, throw it! Throw it! Let's see, did that work? No. Okay, that did not work. Let's try that again. I'm gonna try to draw him into my slime. Yeah, we'll just run past him. <laughs> oh, oh, I gotta climb that. I'm going all the way to the top. There's gotta be a place to hide up here. Quick, 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 quick. Woo-wee! Here we go. Found the garden. Shh! Don't you say a word, jack-o'-lantern. If you know what's good for you. Because I'll come right out here and I'll nibble on your face, I will. Alright, I think... I think the coast is clear. Come on out of there, Tylo. Let's go check, just to make sure. I don't think the guard comes down here. Oh, and by the way, welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. <laughs> We're picking up just about where we left off here. In fact, right where we left off. After having given that guard a slip in the garden. Apparently, this is a garden. And it doesn't look like that guard comes down here. So, yeah, let's uh, let's pick some carrots. I'm no bunny wabbit, but you know what? I'm not going to pass up on food. That's for dang sure. And Oh, look at this. We can take the pumpkin. It's a hat. A helmet made out of a ripe pumpkin. The stats are not very good, but we're going to have to at least try it on. Oh, yeah, that is going to be awesome for Halloween. A little hot in there, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's take that off. Put the minstrel hood back on. I want to make sure that we can see your adorable little face there, Tylo. And let's get all the carrots. You don't have to do stealth here, buddy. I think we're safe. And how many carrots are there? How many carrots can you carry? I think all of them. Oh, bees. Oh, beehives. I could go for some honey, but I'm worried about them coming out and stinging Tylo like the last time we played with the hornet's nest. But let's... uh. Let's try it and get ready to run. Go! Beehive is empty. Okay, good. Let's go back. <laughs> it's empty. Nothing in it. The bees have abandoned it. Oh, no. I guess these people here did not take care of the bees. They're gone. That's so sad. And no, um, no honey either. Because I could use some honey. I need something sweet. Tylo has a sweet tooth. Oh! Rose! It's a rose. A new page has been added to your flower book. That's four... Roses out of 17. And what the heck is a flower book? Uh, that must be this one here. Mara's book, right? Oh, it, it has story in here. I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Well, we can read this later. I don't want to read it right now. I want to investigate this keep. And figure out how to get out to the countryside. This door does not work. So let's have a look around here and make sure we don't miss anything. I already checked the barrel. Nothing in there. What do we got here? There's a window. And, oh, you can open the shutter. <gasps> oh, I think I found the way out. Uh, Let's jump down here. Just make sure there's no guards walking around. I don't hear anything. Going in. All right, let's sneak up over here by the door first. I just want to see where this leads to. No guards out here. Nope. All right, good. Now we can look around with pretty much impunity. Oh, is that garlic? Oh, I love garlic. Can't take the garlic. You know, I'm wondering if he can throw uh, something at this at the torches to put him out. Let's just throw, out of curiosity, a bottle. Like, I don't know if there's anything in this bottle. Like, is it is there is it wet? No. Nope. Uh, I'm just curious because those uh, the torches give you away, right? I mean, darkness is our friend. As a thiefly mouse as I burn down the banner. <laughs> well, you gotta burn down the banners. Those are symbols of the evil empire. So that is an absolute must. And you get 25 experience. And it's starting to get dark. Or is that just my imagination? Yeah, I think there's a day-night cycle in this game. That's pretty cool. Oh, hold on. I think my tail is cut. Yeah. That guard hit our tail with his halberd. When we ran up the stairs. Alright, I'm feeling much better now. Can I get in this? No, just climb on up. Yeah, it's getting super dark here. I don't really like walking around with a light in my hand, especially trying to be sneaky. That's kind of uh, counterproductive. <laughs> uh, there's a door here, stairs there, and a corridor there. Let's go through the door, see what's up. Uh, oh, it's a wine cellar. Woo! Okay. I like it. Let's keep the door closed. Let's get the lamp out. Ah! ah! Scared me. Is that a rat skull? I don't know. 
I don't know what kind of skull it is. Curious why it's in here. But we can load up on bottles here probably, right? Climb on up there. Uh, I don't really see anything else useful here other than the bottles. All right, grab that bottle. It's five bottles now, right? Nothing up here either. Okay. Yeah, this is a dead end. There's really nothing else here. Let's go. Back out into the hall. Close that door. Don't leave any clues behind. And how about if we go out this way? You know, let's put that dang thing away, dude. Yeah, get a bottle. Nothing to the right. Nothing to the left. There is a little half a barrel here. I'm going to jump in. A.K.A. Basin. And hide and save it. All right, let's hop out and let's keep exploring. So what's up this way? Oh, this guard right there. Looks like he's stationed and standing in one place. He seems very, very dejected. Does not like his job one bit, I can tell by his posture. Yeah, look at that head hanging low like that. Okay, let's just not go that way right now. Let's go this way over here. I see a banner. Did I just see something shiny? Oh, I did. Oh, indeed it is. Can we smash him? Let's smash him. We have tons of bottles. Fuck. What? Are you kidding me? How the heck did that not knock him out? Hit him right in the head. <laughs> He's not giving chase. <laughs> these, these are the worst guards ever. I don't think the patrolling guard comes down here. Now, why didn't, why didn't that work? I hit him right in the noggin. I don't know. I'm going to try that again. Maybe I actually do have to aim a little bit. There we go. Okay, yeah, you got to aim just a little. Let's see if he's got a key or something on him. A hanky? They all have hankies. None of them are going to be able to blow their noses when I'm done with them. <laughs> They're going to have to use their sleeves. Just like a rat. All right, let's look around here right quick because this guy's going to wake up fast. And I'm going to burn down this these both of two banners. Yeah, burn them. Oh, he's asleep. Yes. There we go. Oh, a chest right here too. Nothing inside. And can I grab that rock gut? Yes. Oh, gosh. Put the thing down. Put the thing down. He is not happy. Okay. Man, he was not out very long, was he? But we were able to knock him out, search this room, get everything that we needed, and burn down the banners. And he's none the wiser. Though I wouldn't mind getting up those stairs. Should we try this again? <laughs> Oh, I love whacking rats with bottles. It's the best thing ever. Up we go. There's another guard right there. Is that a patrolling guard? Oh, yeah, that's the patrolling guard. That goes back down into the courtyard. What, was he coming this way? Holy cow, I think he's coming this way. Oh, oh. Somebody's got an exclamation mark on their head. I'm not sure who. I can't see anything up here. It's super dark. Make sure there's no guards, and then we can uh, whip out a candle or a lantern. All right. Th Whoa! Who that? Oh, there's a guard right here. He's on a patrol. You gotta run, little mousy. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I got turned around. Oh, this guy's still snoozing. Oh, no! Oh, I squeezed right through. Oh, no! Get in the basin! Okay. I think we're good. <sighs> no worries, we got this. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, I realize that we don't even need to knock this guard out. We can climb right up here. Keep forgetting I'm a climby mouse. Very climby mouse. And let's put that away. And try not to alert the guard in this room. I didn't even know he was there. Although maybe he was one of the patrolling guards that happened... To walk in. Now, let's see where this guy goes. Does he come all the way over here? Uh, maybe. Oh, he goes to the doorway. Looks in. Scratches a few fleas. And then turns around. All right. You just got to learn their patterns. That's all. You just got to learn the patrols. And then you can take advantage of that knowledge. Somebody down there with the uh, speech bubble. I think that's the, um, I think that's the blacksmith. Oh, he's right at the fire. Wait a minute. He was not there when we first came in. Was he? If he was, I must be blind as a bat. No, 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 no. He couldn't have been there. I would have seen him. 
Let's see, is he gonna go on patrol? Yeah, okay, he's a patrolling guard. He's going upstairs. He comes down, stands by the fire for a moment. And he... Let's see how far he goes. Alright, oh, he looks out the window, and then comes down to the fire. Okay, is there anywhere to hide here? Oh, what's this? It's locked! It's locked. You need the war room chest key. Uh-huh. Just as I suspected. But we can climb up and look out the window. Put this bar there so we can't get out. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is he there at the fire? He's there at the fire. Let's just wait for him to leave and we'll check this table. All right. You know what? This guy's taking way too long to leave. I was going to throw a stick and distract him, but there he goes. Okay, we're good. We're good. Hold on. Ha, ha, ha. What? Oh, holy cow. He's got some pretty good peripheral vision. Now, he's facing the other direction, so let's grab all the goods and then go hide. Grab some cheese. Grab the fate cards. <laughs> Anything else up here? Is there a key? Oh, he's coming back already. I think we can hide under the table, right? Let's hide under the table. No, not over the table, you dumb dumb. Whoo. Okay, that was close. That was close, Tylo. All right, let's have a look at our inventory here. I'm curious about these cards. We now have eight of them. An arcane card used by some to divine one's fate. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but I'm going to hang on to them. Maybe they're going to be useful at some point down the road. Oh, 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 there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. There he goes. Wait a minute. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, go now. Go now. Go, 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 go. I'm going to go check this cabinet right here. Cupboard. Climb up on top. Oh, that's a giant key. Okay, go. I think that might be the key we're looking for. Let's go find out. Yep. That's the right key. We used the war room chest key. We can hide in here, but I don't want to hide in there. I want to look in it first. It's got to be something good. Oh, a thief's belt. Too long is considered by many, including his peers and his own self, to be the greatest thief alive. Capricious and whimsical, Too long is at once a hero and a villain to, who is he, to those he steals from. Tales of his daring and guile are near legendary, and with each telling, his renown has only grown. So Too long's outfit is said to consist of a hat, mask, tunic, belt, and the boots. All right, well, let's get inside and let's check out, check out that belt. Stat-wise, it's not quite as good as the rope belt we're wearing, but it has some pretty good resistances. Weapons and falling. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to wear that because right now I think the stats are worth more than the resistances. At least it seems like it is. We want stamina and sprint speed more than we want weapon and falling resistances, I think. I'm not sure, but that's the way I'm going. And no one going to stop me. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's burn these... Jeez, oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. This guy's fairly alert. It seems like he has really good peripheral vision. All right, here's the plan. He's going to go up the stairs, look out the window, and we're going to burn these two banners and then hide under the table because it might attract his attention. And then when he comes down, we're going to run up the stairs and see what's up there. That's the plan. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, get in the corner here. Get in the corner. This guy's got super duper eyesight. There we go. Okay, we're good. I don't know how good his hearing is, but... Oh! Wow! All right, put that away. That I didn't realize I was going to distract him so quickly. <laughs> Where is he? Did he even come down? No, he's still up top. Oh, man. He doesn't check in on the fires, apparently. He's not too concerned about fire. <laughs> okay, great. Glad to hear it. And now let's get under the table. Hide. Shh. Okay, when he comes back down and warms up by the fire, we're going to sneak right on out of here. Make sure there's nothing behind those banners. I didn't even look. Here he comes, right on schedule, like a good old rat guard should. Going to go by the fire. Warm up his furry little toes and fingers, and out we go. Oh, wrong side. Why did you go out that side? Go out the other side. Oh, my. Okay, plan B. 
Oh no! <laughs> Plan B didn't work out so well either. He has no idea who threw that bottle at him. I want to go out the other side. I don't want to go out this side. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, that did not work out. We're going to have to come up with a plan C. Maybe. Maybe the way you sneak out. Ooh. Is uh, the same as the way you go in. Anything here by the fire, by the way? Apparently not. Let's try that. Oh, you can't even... Oh, yes, you can. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way we needed to get under the table. So when we leave, we'll go out that same direction. That's only a theory. But we're going to test that theory right now. And there we go. And out we go. Easy does it. This guy's got super duper peripheral vision. And can I climb up this thing? Up we go. And up we go. Okay. Whoo, we did it. We should just run now. We should just run now. Check the cupboard. Nothing in there. This is the window he keeps looking out of. Uh, can't open it. Get down, get down, get down. Up we go. Up the stairs. Where does it lead? Nobody knows. Oh, I think the sun's coming up. Finally, we can see again. But I think that means we're also more visible. <laughs> Barrel be empty. But we're going to get in and hide. All right, and we're out. I would really like to finish exploring this entire keep in this episode. So then we can move on for the next episode. I know there's like a, uh, a countryside. I've seen pictures and screenshots of the mouse outdoors, like in a forest. Oh, this guy wants to talk. Oh, that could be the guy. This is the guy. I think we're supposed to meet somebody. He seems friendly. Hi, friendly. Hi. Nice to meet you. Name's Tylo. Ooh, it's a mysterious rat. All right, can we chat? Quest complete. Jailbreak. You've nothing to fear, Mouse. Not from me. I'm not afraid. Then why are you trembling? Uh, it, it's cold up here. Not as cold as your cell. I think this is the guy that left a note in the key in our cell, right? It was you who left me the key. Aye, you seem disappointed. The message was written in Meridian. Why? I don't know what Meridian is, but it sounds good. A precaution. Please tell me your name. Sing something. Sing something? Is that a family? <laughs> I'm not going to be a wise guy. Very well, let's sing. Just keep it short. So we got to open the songbook and actually sing for this guy? Uh, okay. The Ballad of the Coward King, maybe? But what would a mysterious rat like to listen to? How about, um... The Heaven in a Bottle sounds fantastic. Oh, here it comes. I'm actually gonna skip it. I can only imagine the kinds of holes you've been playing in to know that song. Ha! You have no idea. So tell me, why exactly are you here, Mouse? Your message said to come, didn't it? That's kind of a smart Alec reply. Let's go with, I think perhaps you already know why. Here. The mysterious stranger hands you a familiar Lutka. Oh, Lutka. Right, we already read about a Lutka. We already have a Lutka in our inventory, right? I believe that's yours. Thank you, yes. Someone you care for? Mera, my wife. I hope perhaps she'd be here, but... I saw the black Lutka in your pouch. That's my son. I'm sorry, truly. Mera, I can help you find her. How? I have my ways. And in return, I need you to get something for me. Well, of course we're going to accept. It's my wife. I'm not going to say no. <laughs> Very well, we accept. Good, I'm Silas. Let's get started. So how do you intend to find Mera? All arrests and prisoner transfers for the region have to be registered at the nail. What is the nail? It's the regional headquarters of the Rat Empire. Yuva Citadel dominates what once was the capital city of the kingdom of Meridia. All right, well, I guess that's where we're heading. It'll take some time to get a message to Yuva, but they'll know where Mera's being held. Very well. A message of hope. Fetch a scap... What? Fetch me a scap beetle from the cage over there. Oh. 
a horned flying beetle native to the eastern equatorial region. In the wild, the scap beetle lures its prey by mimicking the mating call of other beetles. The signal guards of the red paw use this ability to send messages across great distances. Interesting. The bond between signal guard and his scaps is extremely strong. The beetles having been reared from larva by their handler. Ooh. Auto save done. Well, thank you for that information, Silas. I very much appreciate it. Let's save Mara. I'll be right back with your beetle. He said over there. All right, just going to have a look around here, fella. See what you got that I could use. Cannonballs. Man, is it getting dark already? Do we really talk that long? Wow. Oh, beetle cage. Oh, you want that beetle? Yeah. Hey, can you hold on a second? Because I've got some unfinished business. Oh, a trough. <laughs> Somebody made a wish by throwing florins in a trough. Yeah, I'll be right back. You stay right here, sir. Don't you go away. It's locked. You need the key to Silas's cot. Yeah, we're probably going to get that when we give him the beetle. But you know what? There's more here to see. I don't think I'm quite ready to leave. This is a big old place. There's a door right here. Open it up. Squat down. Uh, ooh. Oh, wow. Is it dark here? Let's get the lantern out. Going to the tippity top of the tower. Going all the way up. Is there a guard up here? No. All right, put that lamp away. Save on oil. What is that growing on the window? I hope I don't fall out. Oh, beetle eggs. Tasty treat. Delicacy. Oh, achievement unlocked. The pinnacle. <laughs> cool. There's a card here. Wow, hold on. Get the fate card first there. Tylo and grab the extra bottle and then nothing in the chest. All right, hop in now. And I'm going to save it here. Hop back out. Let's keep going. Nothing else around here. The top of this tower, huh? Just some beetle eggs. All right, well, let's check out those beetle eggs. Is it just food? No, it's under miscellaneous. Scap beetle eggs. Ooh. A cluster of unfertilized scap beetle eggs. Well, that's great. All right, then. Maybe we can grow our own scap beetles and use them to communicate somehow. All right, where's that door? There it is. That is so dark in that tower. All right, closed. Now, let's... Oh, oh I thought that was a guard. That's just Silas. Scared the dickens out of me, Silas. Don't do that again. I want to make sure we get everything down here. 